Natasha, my name is John Whitefeather. And I have lived here for years in an old family house in the middle of the forest. I go to the lake daily to meditate in the mornings. It frees me from the limited consciousness of the ego to the unlimited divine consciousness. It's the key that opens prisons and unleashes the divine spark that all people possess within themselves. Come, O oh Great Spirit, O oh Pachamama. Come, O oh Great Spirit, O oh Pachamama. Come, O oh Great Spirit, O oh Pachamama. Come, O oh Great Spirit, come. The forest, the forest is alive, is alive. and it will only, only perish, perish if those from the outside, outside insist on destroying it. If they succeed, the rivers will disappear under the earth. The ground beneath our feet will undo itself. The trees will wither, and the stones will crack in the heat. The parched earth will remain empty and silent. The Shapiri spirits, who come down from the mountains to play in the forest canopy, will disappear to faraway places. Their parents, the shamans, will no longer be able to call them and make them dance for our protection. They will be unable to extinguish the fires of this epidemic devouring us. They will no longer be able to counteract the evil spirits that have transformed the forest into chaos. And so, we will die. <laughs> One at a time. No one will be spared. Even all the shamans will die. And when and there when is no one, one left to hold up, up the, sky, the sky, it will fall. It will fall.